Shores Unknown here is a game which I did a bit of an overview of the early access release of a couple of days ago. And I do want to play through all of the content currently available in the early access period. Apparently there's like six hours worth of story play available. So because we're pro gamers around here, we'll probably get that done in about ten and a half. Yeah, it won't be that bad, I don't think. But I will be starting from the very beginning, so I'm not going to be picking up off of where I was in the overview. So let's start a new game. So we've woken up in the middle of the night there. He's hobbling off. The man just needs a leak. Now you do not stab a man while he's pacing up a tree. That's just not right. But of course, it was just a dream. Here we are in the morning. With a very impatient woman breaking our nose to wake us up, apparently. We're a couple ready. Up we get. Should leave our big sword behind because we don't need that. Now we've got to follow Ren. Now we've got our sword now. Can I not just go like off in the other direction, maybe? I can, actually. But it teleports me back. So yeah, let's just follow Ren. This must be the place. Sigvard said in his letter it was just a few rundown huts on the coast. Come on, brother. So this is our sister. I don't want to spend another night in the woods. So... What are we doing here? What's the point of keeping that journal of yours if you forget everything? Maybe you should try reading it. So that's just, um, hinting that we have a quest journal, I guess. In short breast, that's our mercenary corp commander, has asked us to meet with Sigvard here to receive further instructions from him about our mission. Ring any bells? Uh, not really, but let's just go. Right there, there's two men engaged in heated conversation. I wonder what's got them so piled up. I think you mean riled up, Bren, but we'll go with it. Now the game will look a bit different to um, the overview, if you watch the overview as well. The post-processing and stuff seems to kind of tank the frame rate a bit, so I disable that for the time being. I don't know which direction I'm going in. Okay, so we're not allowed to go that way. Not yet, anyway. But yeah, I just turned down a ton of the settings until I could um, find the one that was causing the frame drops and it was the post processing, so now that's gone, we've got a solid 60 FPS, hopefully. What are you suggesting, Reginald? If we don't pay up, they'll kill us all? If they kill us, they stop getting their gold? All they're gonna do is scare you with some big talk and maybe a few punches. We need to take a stand. If we keep paying, nothing will change. It's not ours to decide, and they've noticed we're here at last. What did you want? Did Bottle send you? Well, I don't know who Bottle is. What were you talking about? None of your business. Clear off before my father and I. I was getting riled up. Let's not be hasty. Who's this Bottle? Uh, no, but not one of his. Who and keep his name are you then? And why are you so interested in other people's affairs? Yep, we're just looking for a place to stay right now. See that those weapons stay in their sheaths. Hmm, okay. They're not all too friendly. There's a book there. Woodcutter's Handbook. So we've got a map here, so we've got the sea out there. There's a few question marks on the map, which, um, as I've found, contain very nice goodies. I don't know if I can go exploring just yet, though, so I think I'm going to head to the village for now. So there's a dog there. The dog can bark. We need to look for the village elder. He was probably in the only decent sized house, yeah? Caring for the crops volume 2. Shall let's see if the elder's home. Okay, there's no answer to the door. Uh, let's try talking to the two by the gate. The older one looked important, might be the elder himself. Alright, here we go. Oh, there's a brigand leader here, asking for their gold. He's got two swords on him. How many times do I have to tell you? The catches have been down. We've barely got enough to feed ourselves. Never mind sell. 
Buddle was kind enough to give you an extra week and this is how you repay him with lies? He told you we haven't had anything to sell, there is no gold. If that's the way you want to play it, Gron, pick one. So this brigand here is called Gron? What's he up to? You'll do nicely, so he's pointing at our sister there. Your friend that doesn't look happy, don't worry mate, you can have her back when I'm done. I mean, she looks like she can take care of herself, so you know, don't let me stop you. Yeah. See? Told you. So he's not her type, and she broke his arm, good on her. Bad move, we would have been happy to stop at one, but you had to go and push your luck. Oh, good night, Hakon. It's a very chipped dagger. So Reginald's none too pleased. Got the rest and we'll string them up as an example. So we got ourselves our first bit of combat here. Alright, I'm going to skip through the tutorial for this. Because I did go through the combat system a bit in my overview, so feel free to check that out if you want to learn more about how this works. Gonna do a bit of damage there. Quite a fair chunk of damage here. We got an evasion there. And we just took a side attack. But we are looking really good in terms of health. So let's just keep up the attack. We can revert orders if we want to. Shield bash, does that really do much for us right now? We could heal Morton. I think what I'm going to do is try and use healing as much as possible because I want to see if that gives me new healing abilities. Because as you use your abilities, you can gain new ones. Something that I found I was really lacking when I was playing through my overview was that I didn't have a good healer. How oh, she healed herself, not Morton. That's fine. It doesn't matter, I just wanted to keep up the healing. Oh, she's doing good with the shield. Okay, so Morton can keep up the attack. Ren can target Morton and heal him up. Yeah, it's actually doing pretty decent healing at the moment. So that's one down. Alright, so I guess we just want to get everybody to attack now then. There's no point in healing if it's not going to do anything for me. Alright, engage in combat. So here comes our side attack. Plenty of damage, that guy's down. Just one left. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we can down him in one, at most two turns. That was a critical hit. And our side attack comes in and drops him. Perfect. So we just got two stats upgrades. I think they're both strength. So there's a longsword, a hammer, and worn leather armor. Reginald's blaming himself there for the death of his father. Yeah, but how is this your fault? I talked him out of paying Bertle for protection of the village. So he thought he had the bastards figured out. Was your father the elder? He was, but not anymore. So who's Bertle? A thug who lives in a lair nearby. Since the army doesn't come here often, the village needs someone to protect it from wild animals and whatnot. Bertle came to my father once and offered him a deal, or blackmailed him really. Right, so I don't suppose that's the end of it. Once Bertle comes looking for his missing men, we're all for the chop. Okay, so you want us to kill Bertle, right? No, Reginald wants to kill him. Alright, we'll help, but we do need a plan. Come meet me here tomorrow morning, I'll have a plan by then. So the sun has now gone down, it's night time again. What's Sigvard got us into here, and where the hell is he anyway? We can worry about that in the morning. Okay, uh, let's, let's go to sleep. I don't think Ren slept very well, but we have had worse. Let's go, we've got a job to do. 
All right then, so we can head out. I've got some new equipment. Okay, so if I head to party here and go into the character editor, this leather armor is slightly worse than the one we're currently wearing. The one we've got gives us one more physical defense and one magical defense too. We didn't get any accessories, but Ren doesn't have any armor, so she can have the worn leather armor. Again, no accessories. Ren's actually pretty damaged balance-wise compared to Morton. So Morton's got 35 physical power and 4 magic, but Ren has 15 and 12. So maybe if we swap her longsword for a hammer, that scales better with magical power. We only lose 2 physical power, but we get a lot more magic. So maybe... Oh yeah, we got low healing and now regenerative healing. Did we have that with the, um, with the longsword? Oh, we did. Hmm. Okay, well there's not too much physical power we're losing there, so we're gonna use Ren as our healer for the time being. You approach the scene of battle with a bandit. There's no trace of the previous day's violence. The elder son stands motionless next to a fire, so he hasn't been to sleep. Good morning, I never introduced myself, the name's Reginald. We are here all night. It's our way, we stand in vigil of memory of the departed. Okay, so have you got a plan? We're gonna head to the bandit's hideout, you distract the gods while I sneak up on Bertle. That's not much of a plan. It's a cave in the woods to the east of here, I'm going ahead and wait for you. And off he goes. So I think that was the way I tried to escape into earlier, wasn't it? Yeah. An eye for an eye. I think I'd rather go find out what these secrets are if I'm allowed to uh, walk far enough away from the town to do that. So there's like a little mini stone hench here. Some standing stones. With a dagger amulet and 75 coins. So let's equip that. We'll give it to Morton. What does it give me? Just five physical power. There we go. I mean, I could give that to Ren to balance his stats back out, but I think it's probably best used on Morton because he can make the best use of it with his weapon scaling. And behind these mountains here, we have a hidden stash with a falcon, a halberd, a stash nut. I'm going to rip one finger off of you for every coin short from selling these. So this is one of Bardell's stashes. Nothing usable for your group, but can be sold to one merchant. Okay, so we'll profit quite a bit from this. But let's have a look at Morton's stats. So the great sword here he's using gives 5 attack, 2 defense, and it scales BDC. The halberd is BCB. 6 attack, 4 defense. So it actually scales better with everything, actually. Yeah, so we should use this halberd instead of the, uh, instead of the great sword. That doesn't take any abilities away from us, does it? No, okay. So that's much better. But how does the falcon compare here? So it's a bit worse in terms of magic. So we go from 18 magic power down to 12. But we go up to 21 physical. Now I think we'll stay with the hammer for now. So we're gonna use Ren as basically like a, a paladin. I guess. So Morton's our warrior, Ren's our paladin. So there is a side quest out here. You can see this guy's got an exclamation mark above his head. This one is a fish thief. Let's see what's happening here. Gotta find that bastard and make fish meal out of him. It was so obvious, how didn't I think of this sooner? It was you. Did you hide it somewhere or have you already chewed it up? Chewed up what? He took my fish. I didn't take any fish. Who else could it be if not for you? He told you we didn't take anything, calm down or I'll calm you down. Didn't grow legs and walk away and it's on, did it? Somebody took it and I know that someone was you. So this fish is fresh, so he's just gone out and caught some more. What's this on the ground? Somebody has dragged something across the ground. So it could be the fish. There's a bit more of a sparkle down here. Can't make out the footprints, the grass gets in the way. There's another sparkle over this way. If I can access it, please. Covered in dirt, leads to the village. 
So who could have possibly stolen the fish? Our quest marker leads to this guy called Alba. But there was this dog just stood here. The dog smells fishy. Okay, so I was right to examine this dog. Let's have a look. Its paws are covered in mud and it smells of fresh fish. Okay, so where's your master? Gonna walk away. He wants us to follow it. And yeah, the guy the quest pointed to is the guy who owns the dog. Is this your dog? It reeks of fish. Know anything about it? Yes, it's my dog, and no, I don't know anything about it. I feed him with fish from time to time, and given that I haven't fed him for a while now, he must have gone and caught some for himself. He's a smart boy, I wouldn't be surprised if he's a better fish than Torval. Right, so we know who's taking the fish then. Mystery solved. Alright, Fisherman Torval, we've got info for you. I found your culprit. It was the dog, you can smell fish on it from miles away. I won't just believe you'll say so, I'm going to have a talk with this dog. Are you going to talk with the dog, are you? Okay. Off he goes to have a chat with the dog. The dog has been stealing my fish, stuffing its stomach with our precious supplies for the whole village. Didn't think you of all people would listen to some mercs who came here for keepers knows what reason. Your dog reeks of fish from a mile away, it's not about who told me, it's about proof. If your mud goes anywhere near my rack again, I promise you I'm going to kill it. Well, now I don't feel so good about telling him about the dog. If he kills the dog, I'm going to kill him. I suppose I owe you something for your time. This is all I can give you. Ten coins. Wonderful. Absolutely worth my time. I didn't just get like a hundred times that. Out of a stash or anything. Okay, well there's no other question marks on the map. No other stashes to find, so... I guess I better just head towards where Reginald's waiting for us. Tread quietly now, the cave's just up ahead. What's our next move? Only one guard. Reginald wants to take him out quietly. We found Bottle's weapon stash, maybe it can get us in instead. I think it's better to just get rid of him, but you can try talking to him if you want to. Now, to be honest, I kind of just want all of his loot, and I want to keep hold of the weapon stash. So, yeah, you could do what you're gonna do, as long as I can loot the body. Straight through the spine. The rest is on you, keep the bandits busy, distract them or kill them. When he gets a chance, he'll put a dagger in his back. So he still wants to take Bottle for himself. And I can't loot this guy after all, I can't even take his cheese. Absolute scam. Okay, let's head into the cave. They know this cave, we don't, very true, but I also have a big halberd, so we'll see how they like that. Ooh, what? What's that marker? Oh, it's just a, a crystal. It can be kind of distracting sometimes because the map has like, it's basically just a top-down view of literally everything in the area. So this bit here kind of looks like a, I don't know, a bag of gold or something. But it's not, it'll just be like an orange crystal down the way. We've got company. Yeah, see the orange crystal back there? Who the hell are you? So this is Bodle. You've got 10 seconds to start your business, make it good. And Reginald is currently sneaking up behind him. So we're here to negotiate. We've got to keep him talking to keep uh, Reginald safe. And he knows that we're the ones who killed his men. Reginald's really close. But the guy behind us is literally looking at him. So we do need to keep him interested in the conversation. We'll tell you if you agreed to stop strong arming the villagers, because we know who did it. Okay. He wasn't buying that. But there we go. That's another spine stab. His men hesitate, but only for a moment. And I think, yep, we've got a fight on our hands. Alright then. So that's Festa there. So he's like the boss of the area, right? We just got some deserters, a bandit healer. Oh hey, there's a guy in the cage over there. Can we hit him? No, okay, we want to hit the healer first, then attack. And then Ren, yeah, you attack the healer too. We'll get a side attack on the healer. Nineteen damage is still pretty similar to what she was doing before, I think. But thankfully we've got Morden coming in for a side attack. 
and he's just learned switchback. So they're learned automatically as characters grow stronger and they're enabled right away. So he's going to use that attack. That's actually a 2 AP attack, but we used it for 1 AP because he learned it on the spot. Thankfully the NPC is taking all the flak over there. We probably want to engage faster here just so he doesn't like tug our healer and do a ton of damage to him. We can also shield bash him. Which will hopefully limit the amount of bonuses he gets from that uh that buff he gave. Yeah, he buffed himself, so let's shield bash him to uh keep him in check. Wow, okay, that was a lot of damage. But that shield bash was a side attack. Unfortunately, that means that Morton can only do a regular attack, though. Okay, we'll get Morton to switch back onto faster. Hopefully that'll kill him. But Ren really needs to target uh, Morton and heal him. Let's go. And now he's attacking Ren? Does that mean she's actually going to be able to heal still? Because you do get, um, I guess, distracted. If you're in an engagement, yeah, she only heals herself because of that. Okay, good. Our switchback worked. He's down. Oh dear. I didn't actually know that the uh, NPCs could get downed, I thought they were invincible. Well, that shows me. Okay, you can probably one-shot this Deserter Morton, so just attack him. And Ren really needs to keep up the healing on Morton here, otherwise he's just gonna die. Uh, hello? Target Morton, please? I'll queue over to him. I think I was clicking on the body that was underneath him then. Okay, so Morton gets some health back. He's back up to half. That guy's down, that's perfect. Now this guy's coming in to attack Ren. He's just like, psychically threw his sword across the map. We'll get a switchback going there, and we're gonna keep up this healing. Hopefully we'll learn a new healing skill soon. Okay, he dodged one hit of switchback, but the other one got him. So we should be able to kill him this turn. Again, we'll keep up the healing. And down he goes. Wow, we got some big stat increases here. Nice. We got some uh, intelligence there on Ren as well, so hopefully that'll improve how good she is at healing. So we've got 50 coins, a rapier, which actually scales decently with magic. So maybe we could swap that out for the, uh, the hammer? We've got an army issue sword as well. It's done, bottle's dead, why don't I feel any better? That's not what this was about, is it? I thought I'd feel vindicated. Revenge is easy, what comes after? Not so much. Maybe you're right, something to think about on our way back to the village. And we've got Sigvard here, in this cage. He was the guy we spotted earlier, there's like dead bodies all around him, but apparently we didn't notice him. Heat of battle, I guess. Look who I've found. Who have we got? Dear, dear. So it is you, I thought I recognized those dulcet tarns. What are you doing in here? Would you mind letting me out first? No, you can tell us why you dragged us out here first. I can hardly talk to you through these bars. You're managing it so far. Much Okay, well, he's out. And he wants out of the cave. So Sigvard is a powerful mage. And our party screen here, we're going to put Sigvard in our party. So he has regular attack, spell focus, which boosts his magical power, arcane feedback. So if we cast defensive spells, it increases his preparation for next turn. Preparation is the number of action points you get per turn. So usually we'd need to use moves which are generators, 
like Morton's basic attack to gain more AP for the next turn to be able to use like bigger and better moves because we're using one AP gaining one preparation for one AP so we'd have to increase it that way but Sigvard can kind of like tear up his spells so we can use a one AP spell then we can use a two AP spell because he's like steadily increasing his spell power and he can cast sparks as well so there's damage that can't be avoided to one enemy so Ren, how would you do with this rapier? So we're down to 18 magical power from 20, but our physical power goes up to 20 from 15. It feels like a, a reasonable bonus actually, and we get additional critical rate instead of losing evasion rate. Yeah, let's go with that. That sounds like a, a decent weapon. So Sigvard here has absolutely nothing. So the hammer here gives us decent scaling with magic. So we should give him that. Uh, if we give him a sword, we can increase his defense a bit. Let's give him a long sword there, just so that he can, uh, I guess, parry. 